Hi everyone, Megan McCann here, and I am thrilled to have this beautiful woman on the line with me right now so we can get a sneak peek into her business. Jessica Hansen, she is a speaker at our Soul Success Summit in Santa Barbara this spring, and we're gonna get into details on that in a little bit later, but uh, she is a mother, she is an entrepreneur, she's a podcaster, speaker, online business, expert, a systems magician, which I definitely want to hear more about that. We have Jessica Hansen. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to join. Woohoo! And the tables have turned because you interviewed me on a podcast a few weeks ago, and now I get to interview you. I know. That was really <laughs> funny. I saw it in my calendar this morning, and I was like, wait, I thought we already did this. And then I was like, oh yeah, this was, <laughs> this was the other one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so oh. funny. <laughs> I know, so much going on, all good things, but lots going on. Yeah. Today I'm going to interview you, so I, I think we're yeah. right, but if not, you can interview me too. We'll, we'll, we'll just interview each other, you know, trading back and forth. We'll wing it. <laughs> so I'd love to dive deep in into what you do, because, you know, when I asked you before, you're like, well, I'm like, what do you do? And you're like, well, I, I do everything. I do everything. And I think, you know, as moms and as women, we're, we're, we're kind of born multitaskers, right? You know, especially when we're entrepreneurs, we, we're creative in so many different areas of our life. So I would love to learn more about you and, and what you do. Who do you help? Who do you work with? Awesome. Well, I work with lots of different women and mostly what I do is help online businesses really get control of all that chaos and overwhelm. Mm -hmm. So when you're really at that point where you can't do everything yourself, you're still holding on to this idea of I have to do it all and I have to do it my way. And there's a whole mindset shift that goes into being able to delegate and knowing what to delegate and how to delegate and doing all those things. Um, I lost the word. Anyway, doing all those things successfully and efficiently and effectively. That's the word it was. <laughs> doing these things effectively. See, mom brain, it's a thing. Um, but those really, it's a hard shift. And so that's the point in which I get involved is really helping those uh, women entrepreneurs to get everything written down and get it all just contained in a little package so that it's easy to delegate and distribute and improve and save money and do things more efficiently and faster and then automate what we can. So that's a lot of what I do. I also speak to groups and I have a book that's being released. And I have a YouTube channel. And <laughs> the, book? Um, the book is called The Resilience Code. Okay. And yeah, there will be a link on my website shortly as soon as my lady that's helping me publish it was just hit by the hurricane in Florence and Ugh. or not in Florence, Hurricane Florence. Hurricane in Florence. Florence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Florence is a city out here in Oregon. Anyway, so I got all looped in that. Um, but yeah, so she is in the middle of dealing with that. But that is not going to affect the timeline. I just need the link to order it wholesale so that I can distribute it to people who want to have the book. And I haven't set up the pre-order link on my website yet. So that's my own fail. <laughs> Get your systems Ma in their magician mode. I know. I'm like, I can tell you all about yeah. what to do, but then I'm not going to do it for myself. Well, and I think, you know, that's the biggest thing because, uh, you know, I, I hear, I heard a bunch of different things that really resonated me when you were just speaking. And, you know, one of them is really packaging what you need the most help with and being able to delegate and, mm -hmm. and ask for help. And, right. For me, I was just on a call with a client and I was telling her, you know, you got to hire a VA, do this, do this, do that so that you can free up more space so you can do what you really love in your business when often at the same time, I'm also talking to myself. So it's so hard for many of us to, to ask for help 
it might be a control thing. It might be a like letting go and creating space mm -hmm. thing. And um, so I love that you actually create that space to, for your clients to be able to, to outsource. And, you know, as much as we try to be the best at everything, the fact of the matter is it's not physically possible to be the best at every single thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so the connections and, and building those connections with people so that you can really outsource your business in a very smart and efficient way. Right. And, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't really call myself a coach. I call myself a consultant, but coaching is a big piece of what I do mm -hmm. um, because that really is a stumbling block. This idea that it's okay to let something go. Um, one of the things that I said to my client one time, and she just about jumped off of her chair and she's like, why don't you have a plaque that says this? Um, so I made like a Canva thing. I don't know. But um, it was about um, just because you have the knowledge does not mean you have the capacity. And that is mm. so huge. And it's such a piece of we're so ingrained. You know, we are entrepreneurs. We do want to do it all. We can do it all. But we do reach a point and we don't have the capacity to do it all anymore. And just because you can't doesn't mean that you should. Mm -hmm. You know, and so this is like that whole piece of one of the things I ask all the time is, okay, but should you be doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, is yeah. that an effective use of your time? Well, right. probably not if I'm asking you, sure. but it's a whole mindset shift and there is a lot of coaching and walking through it. It's a big change to go from, I'm a DIY and I do it on myself to, I have a business and a team and I trust them and they are working and they know what to do and they're being used efficiently. So yeah, there's a big shift there. Yeah. Oh, that's so important. Yeah. A lot of it is really knowing what you need to be doing. And then somebody else tells you and you're like, I know, <laughs> why haven't you done it? Well, you just need that, that person who really stands for your greatness. Right. And mm -hmm. it's like, I see what you're doing and we need to be going in this direction because what you're doing is not serving you. Right. I love that. Awesome. So tell me more about who your ideal, like who your dream client is that you love to work with. So my dream clients do have online businesses, um, mostly service providers. Um, occasionally I get somebody with some physical products. Um, mm -hmm but I really like to work through the service provider. Um, and women, I don't know, there's just something about helping women to know that they can do it and do it successfully that really lights me up. It's not just about um, helping anyone, you know? Sure. I mean, I would, right? But that's not who really right. lights me up. So it's the women, it's the moms who are really stressed out and to give them that hope at the end of the day that they can get things done and be successful and they have kids and they're doing all the things, you know, and just watching their face light up. That is really what makes mm. my day. Um, you know, I mean, I don't want to put an income restriction on what I do because I have helped people from my business is just getting off the ground and I don't want to do things wrong mm -hmm. to I'm at six figures and I can't get anything done. And now my business is suffering, you know, so anywhere mm -hmm. in there really, mm -hmm. it's a matter of understanding the importance of getting a handle on this before you're so overwhelmed that everything sure. just stops. Sure. So really that's who I like to work with. Um, as far as what they do, it could be any service. I love honestly working with people who do, um, I want to say like the woo things, right? Like I love the astrologers and yes. the energy healers and all of those people. Um, I don't know why. I just find it a lot of fun to work with them. So well, but, there, are no, there are going to be many of those women at the summit. So you'll get to connect with them and Yay. I, I am just thrilled to have you there, Jessica, and uh, for you to really, you know, support us in co-creating this mission together and elevating 
female entrepreneurs in their business, really understanding that, you know, rather than being better than or the best than the person next to you, we elevate, we thrive when we lock arms together. That's right. Um, so the weekend is a blend of this, what we call the feminine, the self-love, the yoga, the meditation, the mindset, the deep connection, the sisterhood with the how to be a badass at what you do, how to yeah. make more money, how to, um, how to fine tune your systems, all that good stuff. And, Cause it, there really is a way that you can have and be it all. Right. Yeah, you can, you can. <laughs> and everybody says it's not possible. That balance is just a fallacy, blah, blah, blah. You know, but really balance comes from knowing what it is that you do well and mm -hmm. focusing on doing that. Mm -hmm. And as yeah. soon as you figure that out and that you get got all that other stuff that you're just adequately doing and you give that away, you have the balance that you were looking for and you're probably making more money. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, that's Amen, just sister. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> so if you are watching and you would love to follow this beautiful, gorgeous lady to Santa Barbara with us, we do have an affiliate code so that you can get a hundred dollars off your ticket for the two day retreat weekend. And Jessica, which, so we're going to be actually be dividing it into two separate weekends. Which weekend are you speaking at? In March, March 30th and 31st in Santa Barbara, California at the narrative loft. So, um, the affiliate code is Jessica's, first and last name in lowercase. Would you mind spelling it? J-E-S-S-I-C-A-H-A-N-S-E-N. Perfect. And I'll, I'll post that in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to Jessica and I. And would you mind sharing with us any other um, social media, website um, links so that people who have any questions about what you do can reach out to you individually? Sure. So the probably the easiest way to reach me is on Facebook via Messenger. And I am at the Jessica Hansen or at the Systems Magician. That's my business page. And you can also find me on my website. It's www.thejessicahansen.com and from there you can email me or apply to work with me or take advantage of the other things that I offer so sign up for the email it's free content it's amazing awesome yay well you are always such a delight I just love chatting with you I can't wait to hug you in person in Santa Barbara yay! virtual yay! hugs virtual hugs Woo! my arms look so long when I do that <laughs> <laughs> camera angle <laughs> I know I took a picture in New York City over the weekend and my arm was like this and my hand looked like it was as long as my arm it was really oh how weird, <laughs> it <was> weird. <laughs> well again thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to let us know what you do and okay. we will see you in the spring yeah I'll be there I'm really excited yay bye everyone <laughs>